Um, Coach Gennot Raw, um, during his press conference yesterday, I confirmed that um, our players, those of them that applied that trade in UK, that they would not be making the trip to Cape Verde. And also, you look at that uh, Cape Verde, not really, uh, not a pushover when you talk about uh, the possibility of them causing uh, troubles for the Super Eagles. Do you think the absence of those players might see the Eagles struggle against Cape Verde? Um, I don't see them, I mean, struggling. I mean, the, the, the players that are going to, I mean, go. Because, I mean, I believe, I mean, the, uh, with all the players that, I mean, are invited in the team, I think, I mean, they are good enough. And they, they are good enough, I mean, to go to Quebec, I mean, to go and, I mean, uh, play the game and win the game. Yeah. Now, the AFCON will be played next year. Same next year, you also get to uh, play the... Uh, the World Cup in Qatar, that is, if we end up picking up uh, Qatar tickets that will see us playing um, at the World Cup. Do you think playing the AFCON in the same year as the World Cup, does it, is it going to affect the players as regards fitness level going into that one? Because we know how um, competitive and also how physical uh, the football here in Africa is. Um, I don't think I mean, there should be a problem because in 1994, you will recall that, I mean, we played, I mean, the AFCON uh, that same year that we won in 94. And, I mean, that same 94, we went, I mean, to the World Cup and we did, I mean, very well. So, I don't think, I mean, uh, there should be any any problem. I mean, there is going to be uh, months uh, apart, like uh, three months. I mean, AFCON is, I mean, January or February next year. Yeah. And, I mean, the World Cup is going to be in... Uh, Probably in November or October. So I think uh, I mean there are enough time for preparation.